Okay, so the tools you'll need um, to start out. So I ordered a few different things. So these washers are actually going to be, they have rubber on them. They're called uh, neoprene or neo, neoprene washers. Um, they basically, I'll put those uh, on the van itself. And then um, what I'm going to do actually is put 100% silicon around it um, to seal it off just to ensure that nothing's going to get down there. Like, um, So uh, then I have these screws. This is what came with uh, the Renogy install kit. Um, so like I'm thinking these are going to be fine. They're the self-drilling into sheet metal. Okay, next right here I have the wires that are sold by um, Renogy. So basically, maybe most of you are asking or watching this video because of this. Um, you need to somehow put this down inside, of van, inside the van underneath the solar panels. Um, so we're going to be making a bigger hole for this because there are two wires for this. So then these are what I chose to install the holes and everything. Um, I'm just going to get a matching one. I'm going to have to match it up with the screws by holding this end to the screw and just making sure it fits. Um, it's better to mess up once than eight times. So yeah. So basically, I just uh, placed my solar panel in the position that I think I wanted it. It's in the very back. And the reason why I say I think I want it in this position is because um, right where I'm sitting actually, um, basically in the middle of the van is where the fan is going to go. Um, I'm getting a fantastic fan later on for this. I haven't bought it yet. Um, funds are coming as I build this thing, so it's going to be a little slow. But uh, yeah, so that should be roughly the position where it is. The next thing you wanna do is get a marker and mark the holes where it's gonna go and then take the solar panels back off and drill the holes. Look up underneath your solar panel and make sure like there's, it's not touching the actual van, which I'm good. Uh, it's just the uh, mounts itself that touch it because you don't want uh, vibrations and everything to hurt the, um, you know, the solar panel itself plus the uh, neoprene washers are going to help dampen the vibrations um, with that tiny little bit of rubber, but it's still. I took a Sharpie and I just colored in in each hole. Um, there are eight of them in total, so I'll need the eight screws that came with the pack. So now what I'm going to do um, is move the solar panel out of the way so I can get underneath and start drilling. Um, making sure everything fits. Okay, so we're in the van and you are looking up right now. So what I did, I put the wires in just to test if they were long enough, and they are. Um, so here's the ends that are actually going to, these are going to be connected on the outside of the van underneath the solar panel. So what I did, I want to drill a hole that's just the right size to fit the other ends of into the van. So this one, you can actually see um, when I look through it, you can see the metal on the other side, on each side. So these are just a little bit bigger than these, so that would be perfect. I guess I'll just draw, um, drill two of these almost side by side, uh, so then they'll fit um, with the least amount of uh, space around it. Um, so then everything will be good. So the uh, solar panel uh, screws are going to come in about like right here. So I'm going to put the hole right about here for the um, uh, the wires and everything. I'm going to put it as close to this as possible so I can put the conduits to run along it. Uh, cool. That's one. Just to test it, I'm going to be putting... Um, in the end of this wire over there. I just uh, took it back out and about to draw the second one now, right next to it. Okay, so now I used to have two right beside each other, so now I'm gonna feed the wires through. There's no reason to wait any longer. Okay, so I've made four holes on the one side now. So those are two. Uh, that's 
Where's the two? And let's see. next, I put on some of that silicone around each hole. Um, and also right about the, that, like a lot around that, just so the wires would kind of stay still. It would kind of maybe act like a glue. I'm going to um, do more to it still, but I'm letting this dry for a good while um, before I start again. Because um, this will be underneath the solar panel. So what I'm and doing now, I'm getting the new cream washers. And so I do this with one hand. Right, so I'm lifting these up, putting the new cream washer underneath on their both sides. I'm taking the 100% silicon and I'm just actually dabbing over the hole like about that much. Just a little dot of it. And then I'm taking a washer, put that over that. Like that. The screw. So there we go. So now I'm just doing it down. And see how they, uh, it comes out just a little bit, uh, making sure it has it everywhere underneath it. One second again. I'm doing this with one hand, guys, so sorry. I'm not doing them like super tight. I don't want to strip it, but I'm doing it tight enough to where it's not going to move around. All right, so that's that's done on that one. Sorry, I just have one more because I've already done two before I show this video. So basically, uh, okay. So this is the final, um, at least for now. I have yet to test it with a multimeter. But let's see how it looks down below. So I'm holding it at eye length or eye level. Um, so that's basically basically it right there. And you can see there's a gap through the entire bottom. Come up on that. So yeah, you can see there's it's not touching. There's the wires underneath. Um, I don't know if you can really see it well, but. Yeah, basically the wires are just not underneath it. Hey guys, so thank you for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to the blog at www.outdoorsembrace.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, Outdoors Embrace and Instagram also at Outdoors Embrace. Uh, have a good one, guys.